Well, of course, the birthplace of gospel music, and now there are plans to build a national museum of gospel music right here. It would be located in Bronzeville on the former site of the Pilgrim Baptist Church. Let's get more from ABC 7's Evelyn Holmes. Out of the ashes of the Pilgrim Baptist Church, destroyed by fire, comes a plan to build a gospel museum where the historic sanctuary once stood. This makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of synergy. Chicago is the birthplace of gospel music. The push for the National Museum of Gospel Music is spearheaded by Don Jackson, who is the successful businessman behind the creation of the well-known Stellar Gospel Music Awards. The 45,000 square foot facility would be located at 33rd and Indiana Avenue in the city's historic Bronzeville neighborhood on Chicago's south side. It's an awesome day for us at Pilgrim. We've been struggling since 2006 trying to figure out what God wanted us to do with this building. The new museum will feature a research and listening library, a cafe and retail space, along with a 350 seat auditorium and a TV production space. Internationally renowned architect Dirk Lohan says his design renderings of the museum utilize the remains of the 120 year old church. Friday's celebration of the project is the result of an effort to pay tribute to Pilgrim's longtime music director, Dr. Thomas Dorsey, who is hailed as the father of gospel music. And that is what he wanted to perpetuate, was this, this beautiful thing that God gave him called gospel music. In 2006, all but two of the limestone walls of Pilgrim were destroyed by a fire, accidentally started by workers hired to complete renovations of the church. The initiative has the support of city officials as the museum works to secure the $37 million needed for the project. Construction for the museum is expected to break ground in 2019 and then open the next year in September, the month designated as Gospel Music Heritage Month by former President Barack Obama.